Sue Stevenson has multiple sclerosis, and the only drug she's found to soothe all the symptoms of the devastating disease is marijuana. She is one of hundreds of Canadians licensed by Health Canada to possess the plant for medicinal purposes. The pharmaceuticals, I felt out of touch. I couldn't even carry a conversation. But the cannabis, I feel alert. I feel I'm walking. Many say the federal government's medicinal marijuana system is flawed. They say it's open to fraud, can attract criminals, and has few checks and balances to ensure those who have licenses to possess or grow the plant are adhering to the rules. This week, officials closed a Windsor Park home where people were permitted to grow medicinal marijuana after it deeming it unfit for human habitation. Stevenson, who once got her supply there, isn't surprised. If they had gone into this site, I'm sure they would have said, no way. I, you can't produce medicine in an environment like this because he was my first. They were my first growers. And it didn't last that long simply because I would get sick going into that house. The bigger issue, many argue, is that the feds don't do due diligence to follow up on whether those earning licenses are adhering to the conditions which come with it. With just 15 inspectors nationwide, Health Canada won't reveal how often they do inspections or follow-ups or if they do them at all. But they don't have the resources. I'm sure they don't have the resources. Of course not. We don't have resources for anything anymore. So it's up to me. It's up to me, the user. I'm the ultimate one responsible here. And if I got a person that's not following the rules per se, I just move on. While many people like Stevenson legitimately require marijuana for medicinal reasons, she understands how corruption can creep into the system. Under proposed regulatory changes to the Marijuana Medical Access Program, the feds want to phase out licensing individuals to grow the marijuana in Canadian communities, instead allowing only commercial enterprises to do so. Many critics say that is a move in the right direction. Reporting for Sun News, this is Nadia Moharab.